message to all my family who hates me and to all these f***ing sheriffs and to the whole entire f***ing f***ed up justice system of enslavement. I'm not going to jail for six months and losing everything I got. And welcome to Facts or Frauds. Now, friends, let's take a look at Light Tajiri Bay, Pauline Ritchie's followers, and their determination to take over houses, buildings, everything that they don't even own. Do you think Grand Rising to the Star Village and Indigenous Morris? I am Angelica Vet Dobbs Bay, and also known as Angel Bay, and we are here doing a lawful repossession of our estate. This right here to go over the documentations that we're going to put on our door is the Marshall, Provost Marshall Lawful Possession documentation stating the debtor being the fraudulent location, I mean the fraudulent address, the creditors being Nathaniel and Angelica, and stating that the creditor has lawful possession for the land, building, for information, contact the creditors, for the provost marshal. That's not how it works. That's not how any of this works. Islam, that part. Next document. Affidavit for entering domicile. Yeah, you're not going to be able to enter no matter what. So let's speed this up a little bit. This document states that for this one that was checked pursuant to the court order, the supreme original jurisdiction has given the order. Okay? And it says from this date, because we are technically after the Wednesday business day, so that's why I stated June 12th, and 72 hours, which would be two Wednesday of next strong, um, that this document will be um, executed for lawful entry as well. And this right here is a notice for presentment, lawful claim for sovereign property. Notice the agent is notice the principal, notice the principal is notice the agent. And it says this lawful presentment for notification for lawful re remittance, repossession, was a reversion of the state. This matter has been lawfully been given due process. Any and all statements, writs, affidavits, liens, corvantos are the law and is the supreme law at New York Territory. And this is the links that all notifications can be found at Islam. And then it's just the affirmation, Jarat, also known as Page, with my express trust, the seal, clerk stamp, and so on. Yeah, and so on. Because all of that is nonsense. It's fraudulent documents that mean nothing, Angelica. You're going to post it to that door, I promise you. They're going to take it down. This is the Universal Sovereign Original Indigenous Ancient Natural Divine Cease and Desist Core Warranto Mandamus Restitutio. This affidavit of fact is also that part as well. And this states, Affidavit for Core Warranto Mandamus Restitutio Notice is to state the Supreme Article 3 Court Jurisdiction and the Indigenous Autogenous Mound Builders of North America people for the land, own the land by such virtue. No sale can be made for any property. And this is the cease and desist command, and we are referencing the Supreme, the, the Supreme Actress Court case that happened in 1848. Say what? Stating that all land belongs to the mound builders, the indigenous, original indigenous tribes, which are the Bay, Day, El, Ali, and Al. <laughs> at Earth, Islam. No, 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 no. Pauline, instruct your angel, Angelica, Yvette, whatever her bay is, just to stop, really, just stop. And I stated other whereases, stating that whereas, one, two, one, we were standing at right now, West 136th Street, New York, New York, 10030, is a revision of a, revision of a state, reclaimed estate property, and is in alignment with the one million square miles that is sovereign land by superior articles Council Court Action Ruling and an inferior decision by the United States Appellate Court in 1850, supported the already known facts of the indigenous autogenous mound builders of North America people. Whereas the 121 West 136th Street, New York, New York, 130 property with all ancillaries are placed within an express trust and title has been reclassified to be trust bank title. As well. 
There's my trust seal and stamp. There's long. Yeah, it looks dope. It's got on the front. And so, this notice of presentments and everything is going to be now affixed to the door. All right. It's been properly affixed to the door for lawful notice. We will come back periodically and check on this, making sure that it is here and honored and respected. We will be also handing, doing our postmaster duties tomorrow to put other parties on notice at their prospective locations for them to be also put on notice. So we mean business, we don't play games. And how is that working out for you? It's long, Grand Rising, all Rising stand will remain standing as a perpetuity. This is an Article 3 out in the Rocky Council of Court action. We are doing our full close marshal duty, placing notices on property. Yeah, yeah. Uh, wh wh where'd your last notice go? Hey, did anybody see it? Hey, is it over here? The first notices we did uh, yesterday got into the acting uh, manager or custodian that was custodian that was taking care of the building. He took it down, so that means notice the agent is notice the principal. Notice the principal is notice the agent. Now we're just placing the lawful possession order up on the door again. You big dummy! As it says here on the bottom, just come. Anyone who defaces this lawful notice or removes it is it will be guilty for a federal crime and will be subject to the highest penalties for crimes against the Constitution and the treaties of the land, which is law for the land. This is a Povolos Marshal lawful notice and possession. Did, did you just say Provolone Marshal like the cheese? Is, is that what you were saying? We are the Povolos Marshals. All sovereigns, all moors are the Pueblos Marshal. <laughs> According to our public record, we have placed on the record and notified all agencies. They are to res they are respectfully fired, and should no corporation company be operating on our sovereign ancient land. Nunk pro tunk. Nunk pro tunk. No, 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 nobody is intimidated, actually. Everyone realizes that people who are so needy for attention, they need to dress up and be as loud as possible, are you guys and 16-year-old girls. And thanks for hanging out with us on Facts of Frauds. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button, you're subscribed, and ring that bell for notifications so the next time I premiere a video, you can be in a live chat with everyone else. And leave a comment in the comment section. Tell me what you think. Thank you to all of our Faction Frauds channel members. And if you're still hanging around, thank you. I appreciate you all. Why don't you hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, ring the bell, and leave a comment in the comment section. Tell me what you think. Until next time, I'll see you soon.